it's your girl Emily Curl and tonight we're going backstage with Hardy and Jameson Rogers. We're here at the Hammerstein Ballroom in New York City and I want you to come along with me. Let's go! What up? Jameson Rogers here. Welcome to my dressing room backstage. Come on. Hello, oh, gang. it's so good, good to see you. you. I know. Yeah, it's good to see you. Um, we're, so we're backstage. We're here and all your fans are outside. This is this has got to be a fun tour for you. What has life been like for you lately? Oh my gosh, it's awesome. I mean, it's anytime I get to come to New York City. It's, I'm, I'm from Mississippi, so this is a yeah. lot different than, you know, the environment I grew up in. We see the little shot glasses over there. Do you have any pre-show rituals that you like to do with your band? Yeah, we always take a shot. Yeah. You know, we have to do the pre-show shot. We just started this year doing a vocal warm-up. What and is the vocal warm-up It's like consistent? 13 minutes of like... It's literally that for 13 minutes. For you singing your songs out on that stage, like what is the most fun song for you to play live? Probably Some Girls. Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. just a big, big song for me. That one and obviously Cold Beer, yeah. Calling My Name, is always a good one too, so. What do you think is the best thing you've learned about Hardy as a performer and then Hardy as a friend? Oh man, well Hardy as a friend hadn't changed a bit. And he brings this pretty heavy rock stuff. It adds a lot of energy to the shows and stuff. So it's fun to fun to watch for sure. It's crazy to think two guys from Mississippi can come up here and play. We're in the venue backstage and right now we are on our way to Hardy's dressing room. What's up, it's Hardy, come check out the green room. Hardy, What's good up? to see you. How are you? <laughs> so nice to be backstage with you. Thanks for having us. We got the whole crew here. You just kicked off the tour. Yeah. How are you feeling? How are the first few shows? Good. I didn't even drink last night, so oh, I actually you feel great. Oh, because okay. I was like New York's tomorrow night. I gotta feel really good. I gotta be on my A game. Okay, so what do you typically do before you go on stage? Like you're not going on just yet. You have a couple hours. I usually start about an hour before. Routine is like exactly an hour I'll like take a shot then make like pour and I'm usually just uh, whatever the liquor is on the rocks the cleaner the better so I usually take a shot pour like maybe another shot on the rocks then come in the green room start hanging out with everybody maybe take another one and then another I one and then it. we go to the stage do you guys do anything before you walk out every single night there's always just one little gathering of like let's have a great show and I always try to remind my guys to like have fun and don't take themselves or the show like too seriously in a way of like, if you screw up, it's not the end of the world, you know, and stuff like that. Just to kind of go into the, the show with a, a little bit of a lighthearted spirit. You walk off stage after the show. What does that conversation look like? What do you guys do after? Um, it depends on where we are, but like a place, like a night like tonight, especially when we don't have like too far to go the next day. So we're in Maryland tomorrow. So that's only like three and a half or four hours, which means we'll leave at 2 a.m., which means that there's plenty of time for activities after the show, especially if we're in a cool place uh, in, you know, in a city, we'll try to go hit a bar or like, you know, a cool spot after the show. How do you deal with like sleep on tour? I get my sleep in on the road because I, I am usually up pretty early in Nashville and I'm like writing and doing this and that and the other. So it's kind of kind of a paradox. Like I know we're working hard or whatever out here, but I really get my sleep in on the road and yeah. it's kind of nice. In New York compared to other cities, like what are these crowds like? We played the Gramercy Theater and it was my first show ever in New York City and I was like I had no idea that there were such country fans in New York ever since then every time we've played here it's been like incredible so I'm truly looking forward to tonight it's some really big country music fans here what is your favorite song to play live kill shit till I die <laughs> really? it's either really? it's either that one or truck bed I won't give it away but they're really really close to each other too the first like six songs in the set are, are like pretty intense it's pretty awesome yeah well Hardy we're so excited to see the show tonight thanks for letting us come back Save Thank you, you and very crash much. your dressing room. Enjoy tonight. We appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Thank you guys so much for coming to see me backstage. I got to go get ready to uh, melt some faces, so I'll see you later. Cheers. Whoa! 